What is up, my boners? My name is Mr. I Try Hard, and I fucked a hooker last night. No, I'm kidding. I'm the nastiest commentator in all of motherfucking YouTube. How you guys been doing? I'm into the motherfucking fantastic, and today we have a gameplay of domination on Dome for you guys. And of course, it's Is It Gay Thursday, which got postponed to Is It Gay Friday. Therefore, I gotta sing Is It Gay Friday? Is It Gay Friday? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, man, we got Dr. Chiz in the house once again. What's up, Dr. Chiz? Hi, people! It's Friday! Yeah. Are you answering in a gay voice just because everybody in the last in our last video whoa, called you whoa. out? It was like 50% of people called me out for the ball thing being gay, but almost everyone agreed with me. <laughs> Skipping is not gay, it's badass and fucking awesome, so there okay. you go. Okay, wait, the comments were in favor of skipping, but they were also calling you gay, just saying. They're calling me gay for the ball thing, which is understandable, alright? There's a little confusion there. <laughs> alright, man, you ready for question number one? Let's fucking go. Here we go. Hi, Mr. Archard, I have a question for your Is It Gay series. So, me and my friend were Skyping the other day, and then out of nowhere, he just stands up, turns around, drops his pants, and shows me his butt naked ass. And then he just pulls them back up, sits down, and starts laughing. And then another time while we were Skyping, he just showed me his ball sack, and again, so I'm laughing. So I was wondering, is he gay? One. Okay, thank you for your uh, audio submission, buddy. By the way, if you guys want to send an audio submission to Is It Gay, it's got to be an uploaded to either YouTube or Mediafire.com. Send it to me as a YouTube PM, anywhere between 30 and 45 seconds long. It's going to be clear and concise and loud, and I may or may not use it. Anyways, Chiz, yeah, what do you think of this question? Uh, I think it's really creepy because, um, just to point out, why are they why are they webcamming over Skype? Like, a dude <laughs> and a girl, maybe, because there's something going to go on. They're like, two dudes? That's like, from the get-go, this is a gay scenario, like... If, if anyone in the comments can tell me, do you webcam, webcam, or sorry, webcam with each other, two dudes, that's just weird. Like, you call your buddy, that's cool. I don't want to, like, if I want to look you in the face, I'll come hang out with you, you know? Like, I, I don't webcam with dudes. It's just creepy, you know? I, I totally understand, dude. It was, <laughs> like, like, that was the first thing that came to me. Like, why the fuck is he even on webcam with his buddy? Like, unless I have something to show you. Right. Like, I don't know. Like, I have, I bought, like, a... A gold watch. I really want to show it you to would. you. And even then, I'll, I'll just take a fucking picture, all right? Yeah. Like, I'll just, I'll, like, there is nothing that I need, like, unless I, even if I have, like, invented the new best dance in the <laughs> world, like, I'm not gonna fucking webcam with that's you. A YouTube video. It's, no, that's really crazy. Oh, yeah. If you webcam with me to start dancing, I would just close that call immediately. And another <laughs> yeah, thing, dude. this isn't, like, a one off situation. Like, in this, his uh, audio, this is twice it happens to him, two different things, so he does it regularly. Like, they webcam together. I don't, I don't get it, like, you can call your buddy up and talk to him, but to open your webcam, and then the buddy goes out and, like, he's showing his ass and his balls, and you think it's funny, and, you know what, on this one, I'm gonna give the, the caller, the guy who, like, showed him his balls and stuff, yeah. he, he's not gay, he's okay, just good. goofing off, yeah, exactly. He's, yeah, he's just being, like, a, just a, just a fun douche, I guess, uh, you know, just having fun, just doing whatever. I'm gonna call, I'm, the other guy who's <laughs> accepting these calls, who knows that this has happened before, who calls him again, and, and who, who, who accepts all, like, why are you doing this again? Yeah, you didn't learn the so first I'm, time. <laughs> I know, right? So, on my scale of, uh, 1 to 10 of gayness, patent pen, Mr. I try hard on Dr. Chiz, I'm gonna give that dude a 10, and, and the guy showing his balls a 0, as contradictory as that may sound, dude. I don't even know. I, I think I'm going to fully agree with you on this one because, like, you know, that dude's joking around. Mooning is cool. Like, you moon your friends, that's cool. He's just showing his ass. No big deal. The balls thing maybe went a little over the edge, but like I said in the previous is a gay. Like, showing your balls, you know, it's a little blasé when it comes to me. But, like, that dude's just joking around having a good time. He's laughing and shit. He's not, like, jerking off on camera or anything. The dude who keeps answering the calls, <laughs> I think he's really gay. You know, like, you shouldn't be webcamming with dudes in the first place unless you are gay. There you go. <laughs> And on that note of Chiz saying that he likes balls again, we'll move on to question number two. Yeah, buddy. Hey, Mr. I Tired. Um, I got a question for you. Is it, the, is it gay series? Um, well, there's this guy in my school, in my class, unfortunately, uh, that, like, looks at you, like, very creepily. Creepily, is that a word? I don't care. Uh, yeah, um, and then he runs around, strokes your feet and grabs your balls and then like puts his tongue up and licks his lips and it's just very creepy so yeah is it gay okay thank you for your submission by the way that was a little bit like there was some background noise in there and some crackling of stuff please make your audio as clear and concise but i like this question and i liked it a lot and i i, I know chiz liked it as well now i'll go first on this one take it forward buddy <laughs> what 
Take the floor, buddy. <laughs> I will, I will, because this one kind of, like, fucks me up a little bit, because I don't understand how you can let that dude rub your... F- like, he's looking at you creepily, right? Like, he's looking at you in this weird way. And of course you don't like him, because you mentioned that you, that you don't like him. Um, how do you let him get to your feet and then your balls? It makes no sense to me. It's It fucks me up. It, it, I, I just... I don't understand. It, 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 I don't even know. Chiz, help me out on this one, dude. No, I totally agree. Like, how... How do you, as the kid submitting this, how do you let this happen? Like, n- people don't walk up to me, no friends walk up to me and start stroking my feet. So that's a red flag right there. This dude's a little not so right in the head or he's a little creepy, all right? So then I would push him away and stay away from him. But no, it's kind of like, oh, he's rubbing my feet. Cool, I want my feet rubbed. And then he goes to step two and grabs your balls, all right? Like, you know, it's just really weird. And he said he goes around and does this to everyone. How is he not getting the shit knocked out of him or, like, Submitted to the ad board of the school or whatever, you know? Like, this should be a giant... Like, this shouldn't be going on, all right? This is really you bad. You know what? You know what? I I think I know what's going on in this one. The, the guy sounded a little bit shy, you know, a little bit, you know, mm-hmm. reserved and, and, and held back and all that stuff. Maybe he's taken back by this guy's, like, advances and forwardness and, <laughs> in, 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 like, how he acts. Because the guy's obviously, like, not a shy one. Like, the guy's stroking the balls and all in. Oh, no, he's not shy at all. <laughs> no, no, no exactly. So, so maybe this dude is just standing there, like, you know, frozen in fear at what this dude's going to do. Maybe the guy's bigger than him. So, so you know, he's just, like, he, he doesn't know how to react. He's all shy and all that stuff. So maybe that's what's happening, and like he doesn't want to push him away because he's gonna get his ass beaten and all that good stuff. So I think that that's what's going on. Nevertheless, nevertheless, <laughs> I think it makes it gay. Like oh, I'm not it's gonna completely lie. Completely gay. <laughs> Wait, are you saying gay for the guy touching or the guy being touched? Um, the person doing the acts. He's really gay. All right. The other guy is just a victim. Like you said, he might be frozen with fear. We don't know what's really going on. He seemed a little scared when he was doing the commentary. Um. But the, you know, the bully, I'm going to just use that word because that's appropriate. He's right. totally gay. Like, first one, um, stroking another dude's feet, that's really gay. <laughs> Men don't like to touch women's feet, let alone stroking random dude's feet. That's pretty fucking gay. And then we go to the balls thing, and that's an automatic, you know, you're a homo. I'm sorry. You don't wait, wait hold on. Hold on. Weren't you liking the whole ball flashing shit? The Man. ball flashing shit was for, like, scientific purposes. You want to show them, be like, oh, cool, they're moving, or they look a little weird. That's oh cool. God. You don't go up and go, hey, I'm a doctor, and then just grab a dude by his sack or whatever. <laughs> after you just got done massaging his feet, all right? That's, these two things add up to be a raging homo, all right? All right, all right. Weird. So out of ten, one to ten scale of uh, gayness, bad and pen, Mr. HR, and Dr. Chiz, what do you give him? I'm giving him a 10 out of 10 because the feet thing really pushed me over the edge. That's, that, I think that's more gay than the ball thing, frankly. Like, the ball thing, I don't know. It, it is gay, but, you know, I think the feet thing is really gay. Like, dudes don't do that. <laughs> All they right. just don't. All right. I'm, I'm going to give the toucher an 8 and the touch E a 3. Uh, just because he's, he's, he's obviously not gay. He's not enjoying the act at all. He's not getting a boner out of this shit. He's we just... don't know that. Well, he, I, I think he would have mentioned. This is, <laughs> this is the Is a Gay series, man. That's like, true. how do you not mention getting a boner, right? And of course, you know, they're all boners in here, anyways. So, mm-hmm. yeah, uh, 3 out of 10 for the touchy, ten, uh, 8 out of 10 for the toucher. So, uh, move on to question number 3. Here Let's we go. go. Hi, Mr. Chihad. Um, This is a submission for Is a Gay series. Um, so, we used to have a PE teacher, and he, he used to finish the class early to make sure all the children went in the shower so he could watch them take a shower and so as soon as me and my friends found this out we like found ways we tried to sneak out without showering but I'm just I was just wondering is that gay all right thank you very much for your submission buddy now first like I don't know about you Chiz but the first time I listened to this shit I was like dude pedo alert call the cops (laughs) report this shit why is this even being sent to me to be sent to your parents and then I started listening to it again, and I don't even know anymore, right? Like, I don't even know if this guy, like, is getting the wrong idea from this gym teacher who's actually kind of trying to be a good guy and getting you dirty motherfuckers out there to shower, or <laughs> if he's actually, like, one creepy Tom pedophile, like, hanging outside the shower, like, jerking his meat off, looking at little boys. Like, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know anymore. Yeah, I didn't know Jerry Sandusky taught PE in Europe. <laughs> I thought he was busy uh, working over at Penn State, but I guess he he, he gets around. But I'm uh, guessing a Sandusky no, like you, joke on is a gay is is, is fine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, it, it fits for this you know yes. submission. I feel. 
But uh, it's like you said, first time I heard it, I was like, pedal alert. Second time we listened to it together, I'm like, there's so many variables in here, I can't really call him a pedophile, you know? He doesn't say he touches anyone, doesn't say he's jerking off, just says he ends class early to get the kids in the shower, and anytime this kid notices the coach, he's looking at the dudes in the shower. I mean, does that mean the coach is always staring at these kids showering and, like, licking his lips and shit like that? Like, if that were the case, yes, pet alert. But, like, we don't really know, and, uh, you know, I can I, don't know. I can understand how he would want to monitor what's going on in the shower. Sometimes young kids right. like to goof off, right, and throw soap and... Get into towel fights and all that. And, and all yeah, that they'll goes. beat the shit out of each yeah, other. Yeah, exactly. So I, I guess you kind of need somebody there to, like, you know, hold them back and do all that stuff. But then again, he doesn't need to be looking at penises and shit. So no. if he's, like, overdoing it. Above the waist. Yeah, exactly. So if he's, like, you know, overdoing it, he's, like, you know, he's got one hand leaning on the door and, like, entering the shower. And he's, like, you know, just staring and groping, like, you know, <laughs> like, raping with the eyes. Then, yes, I'm going to give him a fucking rating of, you know, 17 billion out of 10. Call the cops. Do all that good stuff. <laughs> but if he's just being a good teacher and he wants the kid to shower and he wants him to behave and all that good stuff, then no, he's, like, a negative 1,000. He's a role model. He's perfect. He's a gym teacher trying to do his own stuff and try to do it right. So I don't even know how to rate him on this one. Yeah, no, he's just, he's, you know, he's probably just doing his job. You can't really, I mean, what, is a coach never, I mean, if he accidentally sees a dick, that comes with the territory of being a male coach in the locker room, all right? You're going to see dicks. I mean, does that mean all of the kids showering together are gay? No, I mean, it comes with the turf. So for this one, I'm not going to call him a pedophile and I'm not going to call him gay, you know? If we knew a little more, like he was grunting and looking at like him, <laughs> Or breathing against the glass really hard oh, through yeah. the window. Kids, yeah. pro tip, if your teacher is looking at you in the shower and he's going, uh, 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 <laughs> probably best to call the cops or talk to somebody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you might want to report that one. Don't let that one slide. Oh, my God. All right, and on that note, we got to end this episode. And tune in for next week's episode on next Tuesday if we actually get our shit together and do it right this time. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. This has been Mr. Hard and Dr. Cheers. Check out Dr. Cheers' channel in the comments. Uh, comments in the description down below. And, of course, hit the jizz on my motherfucking pants button. Bye. 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 And bye. <laughs>